Okay. See, what is so if you want to know about uh, dynamic SQL, so first we'll see about uh, what is static SQL, what is dynamic SQL. See, what is static SQL? Most commonly known as a dynamic SQL. It look see any SQL statement which does not change during the runtime and remains fixed. Fixed is called the static SQL statement. See here, what are the things you made in this? This is a like a static SQL. See all the SQL statements and as well as everything. Okay. See, this is a static SQL. So you can run this uh, SQL statement. See, while running of this, while creating of this, this object will be present. So whatever the dependent object is inside the procedure or function that are already present in the database. Okay. See, the meaning is, the meaning is, so here it is. Okay. Any SQL statement, the SQL statement may be insert, select statement, update, anything. Okay. Which does not change during at the during the runtime and the remains fixed is called a static SQL. See, while creating of the time or running of the time, there is no statement difference. There is no statement difference or the objects also present at the both places, creation time and as well as the runtime. Both places, the objects will be fixed. It does not change it. You are not at all changing any different objects at the runtime case. This we can call it as a static SQL. Okay, static SQL. Now, I'm like uh, declaring some uh, block and as well as this. Okay, see now I have some anonymous block here. Now I'm trying to insert into EMP1 is my table. I'm trying to insert EMP1 from select star from EMP. See now see I'm trying to execute this statement. See there is no use of this variable. I keep this directly. Okay. See, now I am trying to insert the data. See, it is giving the error for me. Table or view does not exist. Right? Now, I will make it as a dynamic SQL list. Simply, I am creating this as a procedure. Create this procedure V1. Okay, even as okay. So now I'm trying to create the procedure. It is giving the error for me. Table or view does not exist. Okay. So now I'm making as a dynamic SQL this execute immediate. So now it won't give any error for you. The procedure get compiled. This object is not present in the database for as of now. Why? Right? It able to create the things. Okay. See now, now, okay. Now see, I will make some uh, DDL statement before inserting the data into this. Okay. So now I'm trying to create the table directly. Create table EMP one as relic star from EMP where. 1 equals to 2. Now I am trying to create the table in the anonymous block or neighbor block. It is giving the error for me. Encounter the symbol create when expected one of the following. See, in this case, it may give the error for you. It clear error, an error message also for you. It's not giving any hint for you. See, it is giving the error like a create, encounter the symbol create. In the sense, so you cannot able to use the DDL statements directly in the PLSQL, directly in the PLSQL. So you need to make it as a dynamic SQL for this. You cannot able to use as a static SQL in the PLSQL block. You cannot able to use DDL statements as a static SQL. You need to make it as a dynamic SQL for that. Simply dynamic SQL is like there is no like a uh, big uh, topic here simply if you use the execute immediate is a keyword for that it called as a dynamic SQL. 
now see the procedure is compiled and you can execute this now okay for now i'm like see now i commented this there is no uh, see this statement okay you created this the emp1 table is not present for as of now and you made it as a dynamic sql okay so now you are trying to execute this procedure from p execute exec and it is giving the error for you now not at the creation time it is giving the error at runtime table view does not exist okay so now now if i use this ddl statement so prior of uh, this statement execution now i am trying to create the table and i'm trying to execute this now see it is not giving any error for you and you can check this whether the table has created really and whether the data is inserted or not so let's start from emp1 the 25 records got inserted see whereas here the empty table got created here and you copied the data in this place and you haven't committed here see the data is not yet committed and you can check in this another another place there is no data in this because you haven't committed in this particular session so you are executing the procedure and you are seeing the data in the same session so that's the reason you are getting this and you need to be commit this and you need to be commit this now you may get the same data in here as well this is the advantage of the advantage of the dynamic sql okay we'll see some uh, other things so the advantage of the static sql statement is that that we already known whether the all the dependent objects or which we are writing the statements that are present or not so while writing up the static sql see what are the tables you are going to inside the program that that all the object has already present or not you, these things you already know so those only you can make it as a static sql okay the biggest advantage of the static sql statement is that we hard coded those statements into our application thus we can tune them for optimal performance issue see the static sqls see if you are running this code in the pl sql if you are running any code in the pl sql okay see if you make it as a static sql this the insertion the insertion see the compiler knows which statement it is so the parsing it do the parsing for every statement execution the parsing in the sense you perform that inserts or updates anything right so you are following the as per the standards of sql or not that is one thing it may be a spell check it may be a syntactical checks or the object check this we can call it as a parsing okay see the parsing is would be happen for the static sql but whereas in this case whereas in this case see this is the dynamic sql you are creating this objects at the runtime it may change the hash values it, it may change the it will do the parsing for this activity every time it will do the parsing but whereas in this case it, it won't be required in this case because this parsing is already happened the variety knows that okay this, this is the another advantage of the static sql okay see you can able to tune this because you already know what is the statements i am going to run you can see this explain plan for this and you can able to you know simply see the things what are the things i need to perform here okay see that these advantages of the static sql okay so now we'll see what what other things we have Okay, see what is native dynamic SQL or dynamic SQL, everything will say. Okay, any SQL statement which is constructed at the runtime called as a dynamic SQL. See, you are building that statement at the runtime. You are 
building that statement at the runtime. See now you hard coded this and you simply you pass this to the dynamic SQL, right? Now I'm going to create the table at the runtime. So P underscore tap is the table and the marker two of. Okay, so we no need to mention the size here. And, and from which table I need to insert the data? Okay. Like you can say, target, and you can mention like a VP underscore SRC, R cap two of 20. Sorry, no need to mention the size here. Okay. Now I mentioned this procedure, right? Now I'm making some dynamic SQL here. So till now you use the DDL statements in the dynamic SQL. Not only for the DDL statements, you can able to use any any statement. You can make this as a dynamic SQL. The dynamic SQL in the sense you can frame a marker to of 200. Okay. Now I declare some variable and I'm making some dynamic SQL simply v underscore out the variable. Okay. I take in this insert statement and I removed it from here. Okay. See here the till now is a common. Till now is a common here. Till now this statement is common. Insert into the table name. Insert into the table name I'm going to take from this place. Okay, target. So what are the target I'm mentioning here? It need to be taken as from this place. And the select star from also common for me. And the source I need to be take from this place. This is a statement I'm going to make here. I'm going to make here. Now the procedure is not giving any error. The procedure is compiled. Compiled. And so simply I'm taking this and pasting in this place. See, whatever the statement earlier you made it as a static SQL. The source and target you already known. But in this case, I don't know what is my source and what is my target. So now I'm making as a source and target in this place. Simply EMP1 is my target and uh, EMP is my source. So you already having EMP one is having already the data. 25 records. OK, and you may insert the data again, again. Using this insertion. And you can check now how many records we have. Now we have the 50 records. Now we have the 50 records. This is the advantage of the dynamic SQL. So not only the dynamic SQL is used to perform the DDL operations, or if you want to create the DDL statements, if you want to uh, run the DDL statements in the PLSQL, we need the dynamic SQL. Not only for that, you can able to frame any type of SQL statement at runtime. It may be insert, it may be select query, anything you can frame that query and you can run that dynamically by using execute immediately this is the advantage of that okay and uh, and another thing okay see as these statements are built on the fly thus thus they can be that thus cannot be handled sorry thus cannot be hard coded into the application which which is which in uh, Turn increases the flexibility. See, it is working for earlier. It is working for only uh, source and target for only uh, EMP and EMP one. Now you may change like a T one, T two. It be copied from the anything, right? Okay. They have more flexibility. So the users is uh, expecting the customers is expecting more flexibilities. Flexibilities. So like this. Okay. So whereas static SQL lets you. Execute only DML statements inside your PLSQL block. Okay, see, so you can able to use the DML statements directly in the PLSQL block. 
but you cannot able to use uh, ddl commands directly in the static sql as a static sql in the pl sql block right see the dynamic sql enables you to execute the ddl statements and that to inside your pl sql block that i already shown you the create command table command is a ddl statement okay so you using dynamic sql you can create a, a table or dropping the index truncating the table this type of anything you can able to perform this is an advantage of native dynamic sql over the static sql see native dynamic sql the dynamic sql uh, both are the same okay see and uh, cannot we build a pl sql on the fly similar to the dynamic sql the process constructing of PLSQL code at the runtime. So you can able to frame anonymous blocks also in the PLSQL block. You can able to frame any, any, anything in the PLSQL. Okay. See, these are all the, if, when you can able to use this. See, now we use this open for fetch. So these are all things you can get to know once the cursor uh, related questions. See. This is about the dynamic SQL. Okay, so you may go with that also.